Hello children. Let us continue reading lesson 13, Keeping Our Surroundings Clean. In the previous video, we had learnt about environment, about the cleanliness in the surroundings and at public places. Now, we also have learnt how can you keep your environment clean. There are different rules to be followed. Now today we will continue ways of garbage disposal on page number 102. So please open up your EVS reader. Let's begin. Always dispose the garbage properly. If it is not disposed of properly, it pollutes the environment and may cause harmful diseases. Waste can be broadly divided into two categories, dry waste and wet waste. Both need to be disposed of and recycled differently. So, disposal means the process of getting rid of something. Now, here we have to get rid of the garbage. And everywhere in, at home or outside, we have to dispose the garbage in a proper way. Now, we have to divide this garbage in two categories, dry waste and wet waste. And dispose them of in different dustbins. Now the green one is for wet waste and this blue one is for dry waste. Now let us learn what is wet waste. Wet waste includes cooked and uncooked food. Waste from the fruits that means the peel of the fruits and vegetables and the flowers in the garden, fallen leaves, dust from dry sweeping, all this comes in the wet waste. So you have to collect all the waste from the kitchen which is cooked or uncooked and uh, the peels of the vegetables, fruits etc. and your garden waste also will go in which dustbin? In the green one. It is of for wet waste. What is dry waste? On the other hand, paper, plastic, rubber, metal, leather, cloth rag, wire, glass, etc. are called dry waste. So all these things, if you don't use these things, paper, plastic, rubber, metal, leather, all the waste from these things will go in the dry waste dustbin that is the blue one. Now come to page number 103. Two different dustbins can be used to separate the waste to dispose it off properly. So you should use two different dustbins. Green dustbin can be used to dispose wet waste. And the blue dustbin can be used to throw dry waste. Wet waste, dry waste should be uh, disposed of separately in different dustbins. Proper segregation of garbage leads to its proper disposal. If you keep the wet waste and dry waste in separate dustbins, it is easy to dispose it of. Keep your environment clean and green by proper segregation of the garbage and then it can be properly disposed of. Next is use of dustbins at public places. Now what are public places? We, we visit different places in our day-to-day -day life. 
like airport, railway station, hospital, bank, school, market, park, restaurant, temple, zoo, etc. So all these are public places and it is our duty to keep the public places clean by using dustbins to throw the waste. Now let us read how we have to use the dustbins at public places. Different color coded dustbins should be kept at public places for the proper disposal of waste. Okay, so here the both the dustbins are of different color and the dry waste, wet waste, it is coded there. So when you go there on public places, we have to select what waste we are throwing, we have to dispose and we have to throw in that particular dustbin. Next is, never throw snacks, paper, empty cold drink bottles and peels of fruits in or around the public places. So if you are carrying something to eat with you at the public places and if you finish eating then you don't have to throw the snack paper or empty cold drink bottles or the peels of fruit anywhere around the public place but you should find out a dustbin to throw it. Use these dustbins appropriately for the proper disposal of garbage. Okay? You cannot litter any public place like this. It is a wrong method. You should not do it. Now let's learn more. 